Hi, this is Amanda Weber with Instructional Technology, and I'm going to show you one of the options that you can use during your Google uh, Meet to have a whiteboard option if you're needing a whiteboard with your students. Okay, so I'm going to go to my waffle, move myself out of the way. Over here in the waffle, you can go to your calendar and set up your Meet, or you can go to Meet right here. And I'm just going to go straight here to Meet because it's just a, a test meeting. I'm going to come in and nickname it. I'm just going to name it whiteboard because that's what we're going to work with. Okay. Okay. So it pops up and remember you can always turn off your mic and your camera here. Okay. And then join. It pops up, it shows you that meeting. Okay, and so down here in the bottom right hand corner is the present now button. Close that, you don't need to see me twice. Okay, so this will be where you can present your screen. Okay, so um, I always choose pre present your entire screen because if you choose a specific window and then you open a new tab or a new window, it, it messes up and sometimes they can't see what you think you're showing them. Okay. So I'm going to cl click on to show my entire screen. It pops up and, and if you have multiple screens, it lets you choose which one you want to share. And it pops up and will start telling you that you're presenting your screen. Okay. And then it changes right there to stop presenting. Okay. So I'm going to hide that notification. What we're going to use to um, show a whiteboard now that we're presenting our screen, we're going to open a new tab. Over here on our waffle, we are going to open it up and we're going to look for Jamboard. Now yours might be in a slightly different spot, okay? And you do want to be sure that you are logged into your ECISD account, okay? And we're going to click on Jamboard and it's going to load all of your Jam files, okay? So these are some other ones that I've played with before, okay? I'm just going to come down here to the bottom right-hand corner and I'm going to start a new Jam. If you want to name it like your morning meeting or whatever it is you're doing with your students math time you can name it and use that same board over and over but for today i'm just going to open a new board okay up here in the top left it tells you that this is an untitled jam so you can click on that to rename it and this is going to be my whiteboard jam and click ok so, um, over here on the left, you have your pen options, okay? So if you want to use a pen, a marker, a highlighter, or a brush, and these are the color choices that you have. Your eraser option, which you can double click, and um, it'll clear the frame. It also has it up here at the top that you can clear the entire frame once you have some writing going. If you need to select something that's written, there's the select tool. You can choose it and it will let you click and size different things. This is your sticky note option. When you click it, it will pop up and let you use the keyboard to type, which is a great option. If, if this is shareable, so you could have your students interacting on it as well, but for the purposes of using a Google Meet, more than likely they're just going to be observing yours, but that's an option there. Okay, and then once you make the hit save, it pops up over there. You can choose a different color and make another note or hit cancel to make that a go away. Because I have the select tool selected, I can click on that sticky note, move it, size it, and rotate it by clicking the corners. So anytime you see the blue dots, it'll help you with sizing. Or if you see it with the little swervy arrow, that's gonna be the rotating one. Remember the three dots, our uh, hot dog button is always going to mean that we have some other options right there. So when you click those three dots, you can edit your message, you can duplicate it or delete it. Okay. You can add images with the image button right here. You can pull it from your computer. You can pull a Google search, pull it from your drive or your photos. And it does have a laser pointer option as well. So that way when you can use it with your mouse and click and, and show different things and it just disappears. Okay, so I'm gonna come back up here and select a pen. 
and I want to use green. Now, depending on what device you're using um, for your meet, okay, if it's your phone or um, an iPad or a tablet, you do have your touchscreen options. If you have a touchscreen um, laptop or desktop, you can also have that option as well. Otherwise, you have your mouse, okay? So you can go through and you have your options for writing out your math problems. And that way you can show your work that way. Um, and you can just use it any way you would a normal pen or marker however you need to write it, okay? You've got the erase where if you decided, oh, this didn't come out quite so clear, you can erase. Then you choose your pen again and come back in and fill it in. You do have some background options up here at the top that will let you decide if you want a blank. You can have dots, lines, a grid, a gray grid, navy or black. Okay, just depending on what works best for whatever situation you're in. Okay, up across the top, each one of these is called a frame. And so that you can see that we just have one frame right here. You can um, get a thumbnail view for all of your frames. You can add a frame ahead of this or behind this. Or if you just know you just need a new frame, you can hit right here and open a new frame. And so that'll tell you now that you have two frames open and that you're on frame two of that. That way, if you're ready to move on and you need a different frame, you can come in and this is where you would start your new problem. Okay. Again, in each frame, you can set a different back background for. It doesn't affect every frame. Okay. It does have a share button up here at the top if you would like to share this so that students can respond on it as well. Once you open that up, it's just like our other Google products that you go in and share. Where it'll bring up the options and tell you this is private right now, only I can see it. If I wanted anybody with the link to view it, I can click that change button right there and change my options. If I want anybody with the link to view it or edit it, I can change that option there as well. Um, or if it's just a specific student, maybe I'm working um, with a small group and I just want a few students to have access to that. So that's where I could come in here and start typing in their names and send them um, an invite in through their Gmail through their ECSD Gmail, they would get this invite. And then you can have that part set up so that they would be able to edit, okay? But I'm just, you would hit send right there. I'm just gonna hit cancel. Um, if you have any other changes that you make, it'll say save down here, but I'm just gonna hit done, okay? So you could always go ahead of time and set up your Jamboard, have each of your frames already set up with maybe the problems you want to talk about on there kind of a thing and get all of that set up ahead of time. You do have the laser pointer once you have your writing on here and you're trying to explain something. If you want to write it ahead of time, you do have the laser pointer. Um, some of your other options up at the top, there's another um, set a hot dog button that you can click on if you need to rename your jam. If you want to download the PDF after you're done, save just the specific frame as an image, remove or make a copy, you have those options right there. Just a little more on the adding image. So again, right here, if you wanted to search for a certain image, you can just go in and it's going to pull from Google and let you select an image and paste it in. Again, once you have your image in and you have your select tool selected, you can drag it around 
Anytime you see your blue dots, those are your sizing dots so that you can make it as big or as small as you need it. You've got your rotation again and your hamburger button right there so that you can duplicate or delete it. Okay. Another fun little thing, if you have the Bitmoji extension all set up, you can copy and paste and put your Bitmoji in. And remember, anytime it gets too much or you're needing to clear it, you have your clear frame button. And as always, it's nice up here to have your undo, redo. So if you didn't mean to clear it, you can have it pop back up. And once you have more frames going, you can see um, the thumbnails a little bit easier. Okay, and remember all of this is while you are sharing your screen in your Google Meet. So if you can come back to your Google Meet and you're done presenting your screen, okay, you can hit stop presenting, come back to your presenter um, speaker view, excuse me. Okay, so hopefully this helps you out with some other options that you can use um, with your video meetings. Okay, have a great day, guys. Yeah.